So they've finally egged Jeremy Corbyn. Well, I believe egged in such a way that I think it could also have been construed as a punch as well. Because my understanding is that the person who landed the egg also landed the blow. So obviously this has to be proven, but I would assume that the egg was probably held in a hand. Yeah. And it was on his head. That much has been proven. So probably something like that. Yeah. I mean, that probably wouldn't hurt a lot, but it does qualify as assault. Let's let the police deal with that one, shall we? Yeah. Um, not something I am at all surprised about, and I'm absolutely convinced not something that Jeremy Corbyn wouldn't have been expecting. Yeah. If that had been Theresa May, naturally everyone's going, if that had been Theresa May, it couldn't have been Theresa May. Um, let's just be really, really clear about this. It, it couldn't have been. That, that is impossible. If that had been to write Theresa May does not even enter into it. It couldn't be Theresa May. Because if anybody, and I'm not suggesting violence, got close enough to egg her, yeah, wherever, even throw the egg or whatever, yeah, they would either be shot by the police, I think if anyone tries that with her, you do run a very serious risk of being taken out by a police sniper on a rooftop somewhere. I think you do run the risk of actually being shot by the police, yeah? Forget it. It, it wouldn't happen to Theresa May. The security screen is... It's tight. It's like it's like um, Hitler's personal bodyguard, the, um, the Schutzstaffel, the SS... Yeah, the shoot stuff it. All of the shoot stuff it. Will, will sort of go sideways. And they will stand on next to each other. And as a phalanx, they will protect the Fuhrer. So you wouldn't have got through May's personal bulletproof protection screen. You probably wouldn't have even got anywhere near a bulletproof dress, bulletproof bra or bulletproof knickers for all I know. <laughs> Believe me, that's not going to happen. But just indulge me for a second, right? Just indulge me really just for a quick second. If it had been, and the person who did it survived, <laughs> there would have been outrage. People would be demanding they be hung from the nearest lamppost. People would be saying, we need draconian laws. We need to pass the Enabling Act, whereby these protesters, these lefty Trotskyite Lenin's cat lovers can be instantly locked up without trial. We, we must do it now. This country needs a great leader to take us through to Brexit, to take us into the new dawn that awaits us in Europe with American chlorinated chicken and... But that much aside, I just want to make the point, right? I'm sure there'll also be various Labour defectors kind of almost... Um, I believe there are some of them almost going, Hooray! 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 Only one thing. Somebody did try to egg John Prescott. Not a very good result. Prescott, ex-merchant seaman, used to a bit of hustle and bustle on the decks of ferries and whatever. Big bugger, Prescott. Yeah, someone tried to egg him. I call, you know, don't call Prescott Slugger for nothing. Slugger turns round, bang, <laughs> and just and decks the person who legs who tries to egg him. Right, obviously had to go before the courts and whatever. And uh, I believe Prescott was not found guilty of assault. It was simply Paul put down to um, self defence. Perfectly reasonable. So if you're thinking of egging people, be very careful who you egg. 
and I strongly suggest not John Prescott, okay? Look, let's get rid of all this distraction for a moment. Jeremy immediately made, uh, uh, continued campaigning, so good luck to you, Jeremy. Um, I hope you weren't um, at all injured. I hope that the blow to the head didn't hurt, but yeah, let's get this sod before the courts for, um, for assault, yeah? Straightforward as that. Okay, well, have a great day. And it's been kind of nice to share that with you because um, not everybody, not every MP is going to be quite so nice to being egged as Jeremy Corbyn was. Bye.